If you have experience with multi-material 3D printing, you might know some materials don't stick to each other well. Hi, welcome to Slow Engineering, I'm David. Nowadays, there are many options for FDM 3D printing. From the most common PLA filaments to engineering plastics, Materials have various properties for mechanical, chemical, and so on. Some applications need multi-material printing to achieve specific use. For materials that would stick together, it is easy to handle and manufacture. But for the others, the designs need latches or slots to fit two parts together. This depends on the designer's experience to have proper fittings. As I printed the parts for my CNC router, they were made of PHRL-CF and ABS. These two materials won't stick to each other. It makes me need to raise the PHRL-CF printing temperature to have a more liquid output and try to lay the first layer on the ABS layer. The restricted PHRL-CF first layer and the ABS walls prevent separation. After stacking several layers, the infill becomes stable inside the ABS. Later, the ABS layers cover the PHRL-CF layers as finishing. In this case, the ABS seems to have no problem laying on the PHRL-CF surface. As a result, this combination has the risk when the PHRL-CF layer is printed on the ABS layer. In a recent update on Kura, a new function has been introduced to get two materials together. This function is interlocking. By providing some parameters, the interlocking process will make crossline at the two materials' boundaries and change direction according to the height. It makes a large improvement on those materials that are not sticking to each other. Materials can stick to the same material at the last layer across and connect them to the original portion. Making two materials intersect in 3D dimensions provides self-locking and prevents warping on its small lines. The designer will no longer need to leave latches or slots for different materials. This is a spur gear test print for the two materials I mentioned, Gear 12CF and ABS. As you can see, the interlocking will change directions with the height. Also, it makes the easy warping ABS stick on the print. The outside PA12CF provides wear resistance and meanwhile, the inside ABS provides less creeping. The original non-stickable two materials are together to perform a functional part. This interlocking function will make multi-material printing more flexible and diverse in its properties. The new interlocking function gives me more ideas for multi-material printing applications. What do you think about these functions that will make things different? Leave a comment below to share your thoughts. Like share this video if you think it's helpful. Or consider becoming a Patreon member to support my projects. Thank you for watching and see you next time.